Okay, guys, for this uh, session uh, of Component of VPSD Connect, we're going to take you and give you a, a brief overview of Text Guides, which is a new supplemental tool that the district has uh, purchased to support you with the TEKS RS curriculum. Again, I want to make sure and point out it's a supplemental tool to TEKS RS in the point that you cannot get Text, text Guide unless you're already a TEKS RS consumer. Uh, so this is coming to us from Region 13, uh, and uh, they actually provide this through Region 19 to us, but it's uh, coming out of Region 13. So here you can see what's actually currently provided uh, in uh, text guides. Uh, you'll notice it's mostly tested areas right now, but they are continually added, uh, adding to it, and they will continue to expand what they're offering. Uh, in the ELAR, English 1 and 2 is currently, in this view is not up. Uh, English 1 is up, but English 1 and 2 should be up before school, or at the latest at the end of August is what we were told. But again, just to give you a quick brief overview, I'm just going to pull up a, uh, one one of the units. I'm going to go to the U.S. History unit and just show you what it looks like. So here you're looking at a uh, text guide uh, document. Uh, so once you hit the link, it's uh, this is from the unit to Growing Paints. So the units are directly aligned specifically to the TXRS. Uh, so uh, as TXRS updates, they update the units as well. So I, I'm, I don't have a screenshot of this one, but... Uh, uh, in U.S. history, they've added a unit uh, for unit one, which is thinking like a historian. So they actually have that unit uh, for in text guide as well. But just for the essence of saving time, I just wanted to pick a unit that most of us have, have worked with in the past. So I'm going with growing the, the Gilded Age of Growing Pains. Uh, so here you'll notice that it's got the very similar format to the IFD, same terminology, uh, unit vocabulary, unit understandings, and so forth. Uh, sometimes it will uh, provide you vocabulary strategies here on the on the right to, to work with uh, ac the academic language. Uh, primarily, what you're going to find is the resource is going to be here where it says align resources. I want to point out a couple of things before I show you a couple of samples. So first, you're going to see the TEKS for the unit are provided here on the left-hand side, uh, uh, the student expectations, and then three columns uh, to the right of that engagement ideas typically going to be starting activities activities uh, and then supplemental external activities with a little more in-depth activities as part of a, your instruction and then the formative assessments are going to typically tie, tie uh, or link you to the TCRS performance assessments but occasionally they will have supplemental assessments either created through uh, from text guides out of region 13 or they will link to something they have uh, created or got from a partner that, again, ties to the TEKS RS curriculum and directly uh, addresses the TEK in question. Okay, but I do want I do want to show you that. I do want to point out that there's going to be a couple of other resources that are available, such as Texas Gateway, if you look at here towards the bottom of the sheet, Origin of Progressive Area. So they will link you directly to the Texas Gateway resources. Uh, and then uh, I'm trying to see uh, if there's one here specifically in this one. I'm not going to take you to it uh, specifically in this one, but um, just because I'm working on this from this one document, and it's a little bit challenging. But one of the things that you will also get with this is access to a uh, discovery uh, channel uh, through the links from TXRS. They'll actually be linked to specific videos uh, and resources that are, again, tied to TEKS and tied to a specific TXRS curriculum that will help you support you with your instruction. So uh, we're also working on that information for you as well, the logins and so forth uh, for that content information from uh, discovery channel. So more information will come for that as, as to follows. But uh, just to give you an example, I'm going to pull up a couple of the documents. So first, I'm going to pull up the, uh, uh, for the TIC, uh, TIC uh, US3A, I'm going to pull up the U using significant era uh, engagement, uh, uh, the engaging activity, the starting activity. And this one is just a graphic organizer. And so this is something where you would have the students uh, complete this chart, uh, uh, again, having to do with the Gilded Age, where they would basically complete the chart different events and so forth. So I'm working with a printed copy of it, not the actual live document. It's a Google Docs that I downloaded to a PDF. But again, in your case, you could doc, download it to a Word document so that you can manipulate it and do what you need it to do. So again, quick, easy document, easy to use, quick starting activity, you know, something kids can come in and do as a bell ringer, uh, starting starting engaging activity, okay? The next thing is, uh, here's one of those uh, different types of activities that is also available. So this is a primary resource activity. So here they provide some images and then again, provide some links to different uh, archives and documents. And then again, so that they were a student to working group to examine these activities. So again, you probably have to front load some of these uh, skills that you would have worked with your students, teaching them how to analyze primary documents and so forth. Uh, but again, and then they have some have some follow-up questions, but again, everything is, is already prime, uh, laid out for you. 
again, it comes in a, typically in the Google Doc, doc document. So that if you wanted to adjust the questions, add questions, move questions, you could. But again, it's just a resource tool that's going to be there to help you supplement some of the information. Uh, that's there for you. I'm going to go back to the actual document itself. What I, what I also want to point out is that look at the vast number of resources just in this one page. This is a three-page document. I'm just showing you with one page. So the reality is you're not going to probably use all the activities that assess uh, TIG 3A. Uh, so you're going to be able to pick and choose, yes, the activities that you want to use uh, for your first teach. And again, be able to come up and look at some of those other activities as needed for future, for future you know, activities that you want to use in your classroom. So again, this is a quick, brief introduction to a uh, text guide, uh, but I just we just wanted to show you what it will look like, and again, access and how you will log in and all that information it will be forthcoming here very soon.